Hi, welcome to Cairo's house. Today we're going to be looking at the Thermoflex knee warmer from Castelli. Okay, let's get right into it. Um, Castelli Thermoflex knee warmer in a size medium. Um, Camlock zipper on the leg warmer. Ooh, let's have a look. So let's open it up. I haven't had a pair of these for a very long time. Um, I did buy some Nanoflex, which is their rain resistant uh, versions, but um, after a few washes, I found that they just um, washed out and didn't become very rainproof after that. So um, that's probably my fault for washing them incorrectly, but I just thought this time we would get the normal Thermoflex um, and see what it was like. Already I can see a difference uh, compared to the last ones. They look as though they are scalloped in. That's what I mean. So they take into account the shape of your leg a little bit more. So obviously that's where your knee would go and then it bulges out for the top of your calf muscle is what I'm thinking. That's my instant... Um, that's my instant view or thought um, they've also got they are tied together which doesn't make things very simple um, let's just break that okay in the middle now I'm going to lay them out because I've discovered another thing so I'm going to lay them down like so uh, both the right way around then I'm going to hold the camera up just clear off some stuff off the table. As you can see, they are wide, then they go narrow, and then they're fluted out again. Okay, now um, what I found is with the Thermoflex, only one of them has the logo, it's not on the other side, as you can see. So let's put that down and let's have a look. Okay, these have changed a great deal since I last got mine. They've got this cuff on the end, um, as you can see. Uh, so we've got red for the cuff and a black fleece liner. That is so soft. I am going to love putting these on. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to check because the one without the logo usually has a massive label in it. Okay, yeah. It's just telling you um, what not to do to get the best performance out of them. 30 degrees, no softener, no bleach, no tumble dry. Don't dry in the sun. Do not iron, do not dry clean. Um, so what I'm going to do is snip that off and then I'm going to pop them on and then I want to give you my thoughts. Actually, before I put them on, we got to weigh them. So uh, knee warmers are in. Let's weigh them up. And they are 83 grams. So 83 grams for the pair of knee warmers. Okay, so I've got my leg up on the table. Uh, don't shave my legs because I'm not that serious. Um, so this is where it scallops in. Um, stops it from bagging up underneath the back of the knee, as you can see. The logo obviously is only on one side, so I'm going to wear these on the left so it points out. Um, that might be a European thing. As you can see, it's nicely fitted. Uh, move the leg around. Uh, yeah, fits nicely. Um, up to here, nice, grips nice, yeah, nice and tight. Um, those are going to be super. This collar is so, it's actually a nice addition. Um, I haven't had a pair of these for five years, so um, I'm still on the Nanoflex ones I bought five years ago. Um, but um, this winter, these are coming into play. This is a nice soft um, color. It actually holds quite well. Uh, it's reasonably tight here, and then this nice soft color, so it doesn't even feel like there's anything there. Really good. I'm very impressed with those. Putting them on is super smooth, um, very comfortable. 
I'm looking forward to wearing these little beauties. Yeah, I like them. Yep, they're going to be perfect this winter. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe. Um, comments below, I'll um, answer them as soon as I can. Um, let me know if you've got a pair of these, what you think of them. And we'll see you on the next Chorus House. Take care. Thanks. Bye.